Well, here we go. Happy whatever day it is. Friday. It's Friday. We made it to Friday. Well done, everybody. Okay, so I have taken up the cauliflower challenge. So as you know from yesterday, all I had in my fridge was a cauliflower, um, a couple of leeks, um, some carrots and the cauliflower. Oh, and some tomatoes and some tomatoes. I've, I, I need to tell you now, I don't eat a lot of tomatoes because they have something called oxalates in them, which really makes my arthritis bad. So I try not to eat them every day. I can eat them occasionally now that I've sort of like cleared my system of them, but I do have to be careful. So yeah, today I'm using tomatoes just because that's where we've got to in the cupboard. And I've been in my cupboard, store cupboard and freezer, and I've got a lot in my freezer. We, you know, we may have some interesting meals in the next few days, but I'm not going shopping. I am not going shopping. Right, so what have we got? Let me show you. We have got, um, I don't really know angles here. So I've got some frozen, um, frozen peppers, um, some peas, Everybody's got peas, haven't they? Um, some tomato puree. Uh, tin tomatoes. Can you see that? Can you see tin tomatoes? Can you see that down there? I don't know whether you can or not. Anyway, I've got some quinoa, uh, some coconut cream, cauliflower, some spices, some... I don't know how you say that, but whatever you've got, whatever you've got. Look, I opened my drawer... And I've got I've got a selection of things. Sometimes and and some of it, yeah, some of it's really old and it'll probably smell like dust. But um, this doesn't. This is still good. I bought this in Morocco when we went to Morocco in November. So this this still st smells like it's got something in it. And I've got some garlic, garlic and an onion, the cauliflower and some coconut oil. Now what I'm going to do is chop the cauliflower up and the onion and chuck it all in the pan and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so in my pan behind me, over there, I've got the onions and the peppers and the cauliflower. I put some oil in the pan and then added the um, spices and then put the onions on the top and the peppers and cooked them a little bit. And now I've added the cauliflower and it's all just gonna sort of like cook together. I don't know how to turn the camera around so that I can show you. But anyway, so the next bit is sort of to add the sauce, you know, the wet stuff. Oh, I've also put the quinoa cooking at the back because that takes about 10 or 12 minutes. You don't have to use quinoa. You don't have to use any of the things that I'm using. Use what you've got. So you could use pasta, rice, um, couscous. Uh, bulgur wheat, um, what else is there? Noodles, you could use noodles if you wanted to. Use use whatever you've got. It's, um, I mean, quinoa doesn't really taste very of anything, or is, is, it, is it quinoa or quinoa? Anyway, it doesn't really taste of very much, so it's it's it absorbs the flavour of what you put with it. I'm cooking it in half, um, with half a cube of, um, of stock, so... Give it a little bit of flavour, really. Make it taste not quite so bland. Right, so for the sauce, I have got tomato puree. If you haven't got tomato puree, a big squirt of tomato ketchup will do. But I've got tomato puree today. And in there, I've got pepper, um, a little bit of sugar, and some Worcester sauce. Good old Worcester sauce, just to sort of jazz it up a little bit. Then I've got my coconut cream and a tin of tomatoes. Now, I buy whole tomatoes unless they're on promotion because chopped tomatoes are more expensive and I just chop them myself with the scissors, just like that, in the tin and just chop them round. And any big bits that you miss, just chop them up when you get them in the pan. Right, so I'm going to go and add this to the pan now and I shall be back in a minute. Stay with me. Right. I'm ready. I've got the saucy things in there. Apart from the coconut cream, I'm going to put that in last. Otherwise, it can split. And I've still got the peas here. They've they've still got going. But everything else, I'm going to try and show you. It's sort of like in there and just sort of like, can you can you see? Have I, have I got? Did it... And it's sort of just like you know bubbling away. If you've got small people in your house that can spot an onion at like five miles away. 
there's a really good tip that I found. Make a sauce separate to, to, to everything. So in a pan, um, onion, peppers, um, courgettes, uh, what else do I put in? Tin tomatoes, bit of tomato puree, garlic. And I cook all that till it's really like soft and poppy. So do the onions and the peppers first. Then whiz it all together to make um, like a, a, a vegetable sauce, for want of a better word. Then put it through a sieve because that takes all the little bits out. You know, all the, all the um, clues that it is a tomato, tin tomatoes and not tomato sauce. And then add that to whatever you're cooking. So if you're doing uh, spaghetti bolognese, I mean, you can really pack it with as much veg as you can get in it. Even cauliflower. It, once cauliflower is all, like, all whizzed up, you, you, they can't see it. So it's a great way of getting vegetables into small people who are really vegetable averse, unless it's a chip or a smiley face. But that's not really a vegetable, is it? So I'm going to leave this to cook. I'm at 6 minutes 15. I'm trying to keep these to less than 8 minutes. So I'll be back in a little bit. And I'm back. This is magic. This is magic cooking. This is, um, how long has it been? 40 minutes. But to be, <laughs> to be honest, in between while it's in and I have been taking together my really old pepper pot. Um, everything I have in my kitchen, uh, in my home, everything is associated with a memory. And the pepper pot that I use every day for cooking and table and etc. etc. is one that I found at a Brocomp when I was with my mum and dad, so in La Rochelle. So every time I get that pepper pot out, I have a have a memory. Th this bowl, this one, came from a car boot sale. Oh look at that. It's a bit of look, they don't do this on cookie shows, do they? And um, this bowl came from another car boot sale, and uh, I was with my Uncle Jeff when I bought that, Nick. He saw it, I bought it, he went back for it without knowing that I'd seen it and bought it. And then when we were going back to the car, he went, oh my God, you bought the bowl. Yeah, I bought the bowl. So happy memories with this bowl as well. And so in here, I've got the cauliflower with all the way, added the coconut milk right at the end and it smells, it smells delicious. And in here, I have the quinoa. So that's it, we're ready. We're ready for lunch. You could use broccoli instead of the cauliflower. You could leave the cauliflower out completely. You could use chicken. You could do meatballs. You could roll uh, minced beef into meatballs and brown them off in a pan and pop them in. Really, you know, sometimes I think we just have to be brave. And maybe now is the time that we all need to be a little bit brave and try something new something different something that we perhaps wouldn't have tried before the sign behind me is true love is all you need love is all you need i'm wishing you a really happy day today be safe stay healthy eat well and uh, maybe maybe i'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>